at some local local Dollar General bathroom movie hunting here for you guys. From what's come from the toilet to hence be reviewed in the toilet, sadly, from the words of Shakespeare. And that is bad acting, everybody. What is happening, everybody? This is Low IQ Media here. Before we get started here, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. Hit that subscribe button. And this is going to be my first bathroom toilet review and probably my last because you don't see that every day when you find movies in the actual bathroom of a Dollar General store. The movie I will be reviewing today is the actually it'll be several movies. This is from the Frank Sinatra set that was seen at the end of that first clip here's the back for you and i wanted to review all these movies quickly this is going to be a comprehensive review of all these movies set, as you guys can see this is a hard box set now this set was 20 it was 1999 but it was this is not actually like a real good deal i just picked it up because it's like amazing seeing it out in the wild as a lot of the people like to say around here but this is a um it's a oddball kind of set to find out in a dollar general if you've seen my other videos i found some other ones here lately that's like that in the frank cabra set and um this is really um Um, an interesting set to find out. I didn't have these, I didn't have um, Anchors Away, On the Town, or Guys and Dolls. Oh, but to finish my thought a second ago, I apologize. Um, I, it, the $20, you can find this set on Amazon for the same price you can, it, for 20 bucks. So it wasn't a bad deal, it wasn't a good deal. It was just a, basically the deal you can find. Maybe that you can find a better deal somewhere else if that set ever showed up in a Dollar Tree. I don't know if it will, it could. It could very well. But um, it's very, um, very shocking to find. Um, Anchors Away is the first movie on this set. Oh, yeah, and this movie, this set is beautiful. It's got like a hard book on the inside. And as you can see here, it's got, it's a photo book. <laughs> pretty good stuff on the town you get that beautiful artwork from the original movie posters there's not a lot it looks like it's just a photo essay book it's pretty nice you know it's really cool it's hard it's hard it's also hardbound and the the actual movies on the inside are you know they're just a normal you know it's a normal thick Blu-ray case with the folders on the inside. And I'm having, for some reason, it's got some broken plastic on the inside, but it's from these top pieces here. I, I never noticed that before, but your first movie is Anchors Away, Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra, obviously. A wonderful, like, it's like right at the end of World War, World War II, and it's a, you know, it's kind of a dance musical number. I'm not a big fan of dance and musicals. You know, I'm not a big fan of musicals, but Gene Kelly's a wonderful choreographer. He choreographed the dance moves in this movie, then the choreography, choreography, and choreography. I've been tongue-tied this morning. Uh, it's a fun movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, these are full screen shot in 16 millimeter color 
but they're the full screen movies. They're that's that's the way they were shot. So on the town it's the same way, except on the town is it's the same way. It's got Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra, and um, it's uh, sixteen. It's also sixteen millimeter full screen, um, four to three aspect ratio, one thirty three to one, whatever you want to call it. But it is a another fun movie. It's co directed by Gene Kelly. He actually gets directing credits on this movie. And the same as the others did the work on the choreography and everything. I got it right that time. That's pretty good. <laughs> and um, that's a fun movie. I'm kind of rushing through these. It's a good movie, but I, I'm not trying to give out right reviews for all these except one. There's one I will give an outright review for. Two of these movies I have saw. I have saw, I have seen Ocean's Eleven and I own Robin and the Seven Hoods. I own Robin in the Seven Hoods and I own Ocean Eleven, but Robin in the Seven Hoods I owned on Laserdisc and Ocean Eleven I actually owned on Blu-ray, the original. But Guys and Dolls, you know, a classic of classics. Everybody's heard of it. It's um first time I'd seen it. I never I like I'm saying I'm not a massive musical fan. And um, I'm trying to flip through here. Um, there, there's thing, and I'm, I'm I'm not giving a very favorable review for it either, and not because it's uh, I know it's beloved by people, and it's a beloved movie, but there's a documentary that comes along with it, and you know, and it basically just giving it praise all throughout the documentary, and then it gets towards the end, and it starts talking about the faults, and it's, the faults are the kind of things I was seeing in a movie, you know. Um, Sinatra, his acting's not very good, and you can tell, because they talk about in it that, you know, Frank Sinatra is like a one-take one person, because when he was making the movie, he was also, after he, he would come to Hollywood, Studio, Studio City, shoot his scenes, and then fly back to Las Vegas to do a show every night. Like every night he would come. And so he wanted to do everything in one take. So, um, so Brando, he, um, he didn't like that too much. You know, Brando's a great actor, but the problem is with Brando in this, he's not a singer. So, and Sinatra wanted the Sky Masterson part for himself. So, you know, because Sinatra's a great singer and it has a lot of great singing parts. Well, Brando's not a singer, but he's a great actor. So he's his great acting ability pulled him through the movie. But the singing parts were not very good at all. I just thought he's just not a, he's just not a singer. I mean, he's just not. That's just, he's a mass, amazing actor. Act the hell. He can act the hell out of what he can excuse me he, he can he can way out act Frank Sinatra Sinatra just like he, he's almost phoning it in in this movie that's what I felt when I seen this movie and the two women in the movie they're pretty and I know they're good actresses and they are Frank's or they're Vivian Blaine Gene Simmons and if you can They're be they're pretty girls, but I didn't think they were. I guess they they were hired because they're good singing talent, and maybe dancing talent, and they they just wouldn't really they didn't really they weren't the kind of beauty I was expecting to be paired up with Sinatra and Brando. They just I I, I don't like usually being like it. I, it's not it's not that they were playing girls. They were beautiful girls and they're right, but they just seemed too old for the part. That's how it was a lot of old Hollywood movies. That sometimes the women who were playing like younger parts would be like older. It's kind of like Green Acres whenever um, um, Ava Gabor's playing. I, she's almost supposed to be playing like a, I don't know if she's supposed to be younger at the part or not. She, I, don't, I don't know, but she's just not, she's obviously older playing a younger part and it just didn't, it just didn't come over very well. But you know, and that, it, you know the production of the movie spectacular, you know, but that's the other thing I didn't like about the, the movie is it's made to be like a play shot in a movie format. It's it's made to they 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 the guy who directed it never directed it never directed plays before I don't believe or, or never directed a musical. And um, I'm sorry that this was a uh, Joseph A. Mac Makowitz uh, 
make a wince. And uh, he's a great director. And, you know, he did a great job directing him, doing what he's doing. But he tried to, you know, I just didn't like it. I don't like whenever they make plays. Sometimes they work like Les Mis, the newer Les Mis works, because it's it's not over dramatic. It's like, this was over dramatic, like a play would be. They, they tried to basically recreate the play on film. That's what I was trying to get at. They, they tried to recreate it on film, and it just, it's just too much almost you know it's just like I'm, I'm just not a big theater rat person i've never been into theater we just don't have a theater around here people grow up in new york if i grew up in new york and had access to it or maybe la and had more access to it you know i might have have a different opinion on it i i, I have a lot, of, a lot of respect for real actors and you know theatrical act, actors and but this movie was just it was just a little bit over, it was a little dry over the top with that, you know, and I, I just didn't, I didn't think the music's very good. I don't think the music's very good, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, the music's not very good in Guys and Dolls. I mean, it's got one of Sinatra's songs. I don't know if that's Sinatra wrote that song at the end. And, um, but um, it's just, uh, it was disappointing to me. I was really looking forward to watching it for the first time, and I was highly disappointed. But, uh, that's enough for that movie. I'm sorry, I did do a little bit in depth review on that, and it got a little. That's probably one of my better reviews I've ever done, because <laughs> I it was just a quick review, and maybe I'm just having the wrong opinion about it. But the next, there's there's another guys and dolls picture out of here. Uh, the next, I should have done this with everything. It's Ocean's Eleven. I should have done this with every movie. I didn't do it quite. The first two movies are great movies, but they're not uh, insanely great. They're just kind of fun after war. They were really made right at the end of World War II, like after we won, and they're kind of just like feel-good movies. And they're, they're good, but they're, they're, you know, they're just like kind of basically love stories. And I could go in more depth about it, but Ocean's Eleven, I really enjoy this movie. It's um, got it's got a great cast. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis, Peter Lawford. Angie Dickinson, but essentially it's a Rat Pack, but it's a Rat Pack movie, and um, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. Um, um, here's some scenes in it, you know. You know, it's um, the new one, you know, I just, I like the original so much better. You, you know, I don't know why they really remade this. It's, Hollywood likes to remake classics all the time, and rarely they do a good job at it and um i just don't i don't know they just you know they remade they remade red dawn i mean red dawn's a classic and why do you remake that i mean don't make me see it now the last movie on here i'm sorry i'm kind of whispering now i'm probably echoing bad in the other one because this is the toilet and this is Robin and the Seven Hoods. I do have this, and I'm more. It's just going to be a quick review on this. Um, I wish I brought the laser disc in here and showed you guys, but I I did not rewatch this on Blu-ray, not yet. But I'm going to say that the first time I watched it on laser disc, the times I watched it on laser disc is I just don't really like it. It's it's another Rat Pack movie. It's another, it's like gangster, they want to do like gangster movies, heist movies and stuff like this. And it's, I guess it's supposed to be a comedy and it just, it kind of fell kind of flat to me. It just wasn't, it wasn't that great. And, um, and if anybody wants a more in-depth review on any of this stuff, just let me know and I'll go back and review these, especially the first two movies. I did fairly in-depth on Guys and Dolls, but, um, some, you know, it's, the, you know, the first two movies are just, they're just fun, you know, there's fun movies that set me up and I hadn't seen Guys and Dolls and I hadn't seen the first two movies and, uh, which are uh, Anchors Away and, um, uh, On the Town. I tell you, mentioned it's called On the Town earlier, the second movie. I'm sorry if I did. I'm, I'm just, I had, I had uh, Guys and Dolls on my mind about doing this. This is why I wanted to do the toilet video because I thought that movie's a little bit of in the toilet. You know, because it's just not, it's not as good as it's hyped. It's been hyped for years, and you know, and, I, and, and I've, I've never have watched it. And, um, you know, there's some great musical sound of music, obviously. South Park movies are great musical, but this um, is a good set, but that's not a good musical. I hate to say it. I just, 
I hate to say it. I know there's people, big Sinatra fans, big Brando fans, and Brando's beautiful in the movie. And the supporting cast is pretty good. I just think Frank Sinatra, I mean, obviously they told you that he's phoning it in by coming in and wanting to do one shot. Oh, there's one thing I want to tell you about Thousand Dolls. I forgot to say. There is a scene in there that it's it's a scene where they're sitting in the diner and they're talking about their their, their first wagering the bet for um for Brando. And um and apparently um Brando just purposely was blowing his lines because he knew Sinatra just wanted to get out of there and he was not and he knew Sinatra could do a better job. So he just kept blowing his lines until the point where they had to call it a day and do it, come back the next day and do it. And then Sinatra the next day got him one shot. But it's not one shot. It wasn't one take on the next day because you can see in the background with the, the the background artist moving across the on the street scene on the outside of the building. You can see them. You can see there's a cut in there, and they cut because you can see that there's a different, a different, a, de, de, a definite cut in there. There's definitely where the 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 people advance quick, and it's definitely a cut. But that's about it for this. Um, what do you guys think about this set? If you guys have it, give me some comments and about the Frank Sinatra collection. It's a beautiful set, wonderful collection of movies. A um, couple movies in there I'm not real happy with in there, but I mean, it's Sinatra, so I mean, it's it's fun anyways. But young Sinatra, two of the movies, he's real young, and you know, it's, he was, I think he's better when he's young because he tried to, was trying to be a star. And when he got older, he got just, he didn't care anymore. He just wanted to, he was just, I think annoyed about it probably by that point, but. But yeah, what do you guys think? I will talk to you guys later. And I am really not using the bathroom. I'll talk to you later.